This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. One of the ten victims in the Santa Fe High School shooting was an exchange student from Pakistan. Her name was Sabika Aziz Sheikh. She was due to return to Pakistan just in a few weeks, after participating in the exchange program sponsored by the State Department. Her uncle, Ansar Sheikh, called the shooting an act of terrorism and pleaded with the U.S. government to take action. He said, quote, I don't blame the murder of my girl in American society, but on that terrorism mindset that is there in all societies. We need to fight it all over the world. I do ask the American government to make sure weapons will not be easily available in your country to anybody. Please make sure this doesn't happen again. It really hurts, he said. Sabika Sheikh's friend and fellow student, Jalen Cogburn, spoke at her funeral Sunday. When I first started school, I didn't know anybody. I wasn't, I didn't previously go to the same thing. Um, and it was very hard for me. And um, because I didn't know anyone. And then I met Sabika, and she didn't know anyone either. That was um, the dear friend of Sabika Sheikh um, in Texas at Santa Fe High School, Jaylene Cogburn, who was her part of her host family, speaking at her funeral on Sunday. And now I want to read um, a piece by Saeed Ahmed on the CNN website. He wrote, The comparisons with Malala Yousafzai began as soon as Sabika Sheikh was identified as one of the victims of the Santa Fe High School massacre. Both are Pakistani girls. One, Malala, was shot on her way to school by a militant in Sivat, near Pakistan's border with Afghanistan. She survived. The other, Sabika, was shot by a fellow student inside a school in Santa Fe, Texas. She died. But as many ruefully pointed out, that's where the comparison ends. Will Sabika be the next Malala? asked Asfandiar Bitani, who writes for the Frontier Pakistani blog. Nope, he said. We all know Sabika Sheikh will be forgotten before next weekend. Unquote. After Malala was shot, her cause was taken up globally. She became the face of the barbarism of the Taliban, which didn't hesitate to shoot a child in the head to stop girls from attending school. Today, Malala, 20, is an activist for women's education and the youngest Nobel Peace Prize winner. At the root of the frustration is the notion that Sabika's death will do nothing to affect change in America's scourge of gun violence. The Santa Fe attack was the 22nd school shooting this year that resulted in casualties, an average of one a week. That's just a quote um, from the CNN website um, of the piece. For more, I want to bring into this conversation Murtaza Hussein, reporter at The Intercept, focusing on national security, foreign policy and human rights. The funeral for Sabiha Sheikh was the first in Santa Fe, Texas, yesterday, Murtaza. That's right. It was a particularly tragic case, because Sabika had come as an exchange student, and these exchange programs are often ways of building goodwill between different countries. Uh, her death, coming from Karachi, was extremely tragic, and uh, seeing the scenes from her funeral really hit home what a loss this was for her family and for relations between the U.S. and Pakistan. So talk about what we call terror and what we call lone wolf killings. Right. I think that just as Malala's shooting in many ways was a cause for reflection in Pakistan and globally on the roots of violence in her society. We should be thinking about Sabika's case as not being an aberration, but being part of the very tragically normal uh, cycle of violence we've seen in the United States targeting school children uh, and mass violence using weaponry generally. It's not, maybe there's not a name for it yet, but we need to have a name, we need to have a label, and we need to categorize and attack this problem and name and target the political roots of this violence, which all signs point to being the access to weaponry by ordinary people.